and you see that they're under the number 20 and everything is perfect. Put the amplifier on, which it's on now, and then you select the client. You begin a session. And I'm, what I'm showing is that all of that is done, beginning of the session is done on the therapist's computer. And I'm picking a game called Kaleidoscope that I particularly like. But first I'd like to show the therapist's machine. The therapist's computer shows the theta waves, the beta waves, and the high beta waves. I'm going to go over there and just point to them. The top, the top line is the total EEG, which is supposed to be very small lines. This line is the, is the difference between 2 and 5 microvolts, and we call that theta. And we talked about theta before, and if you can see, you see that they're very long waves spaced far apart. And then we're coming to beta, which, is, which are waves that are bunched together, and they're, they don't go as high. And finally, high beta, which we talked about before is providing anxiety, anxiousness, sometimes depression to people. And what we're trying to do with the client is to minimize theta, minimize high beta, and to get green lines in the zone, which is here is 12 to 15, or called SMR or low beta. I'm going to just reset the machine, and I'm going to turn it on. The game that the, our volunteer Jane is playing is called Kaleidoscope. And the sounds that you're hearing are sounds when she's in the zone, the SMR beta zone. When the game shows that it's not moving, it's because there may be some red lines going through theta or high beta. And as that decreases, the game begins to move she hears the sounds, she sees the movement, and she gets rewarded. All the movement that's happening is not because she's using a joystick, but because she's actually using the brain waves, and the brain waves are going through the amplifier, and she's playing this game via the brain waves. I'm going back to the computer screen, the therapist computer screen, to show you what I would be looking at. You can see that there are no red lines in two to five, were very few. Then we're looking at the SMR, there's a lot of green, and there's very little in the high beta. Now on the screen I'm also looking at the total reward number. At the present time, the total reward number is 37. 37 is excellent. Sometimes Jane can get up to 50 or more. And now we're going back to the client screen, and you can see that the game of kaleidoscope is progressing and the more color and the more movement means the higher the score. Right now she's at about a 2930 score and it's still very positive and I'd like you to show you again this is the type of movement that you see and enough of that movement will produce a sound, a reward that Jane hears and that as her mind hears it, what occurs is that it reinforces where the mind ought to be within that zone, and the mind actually begins to change, and the electronic waves that we see as theta in the beginning become much more beta and allow her to focus more, to be more attentive in her work environment, and Jane feels better about herself and able to focus, concentrate, and do her work, read her books, live her life in a way that most of us take for granted. I'd like to show you what we do at the end of the session. What we do to end the session is we turn off the amplifier, we disconnect all of the sensors from the amplifier, as you see me doing now,